and we're actually going to go searching for some invasive pythons and if we are lucky enough to find an invasive python we're actually going to be taking the invasive python that we find and we're going to be feeding it to the alligator over at zwf miami and they're going to want to bask on these hot lava rocks and we're going to use this great oh! look at this and land in python python this gorgeous little invasive python what an absolute beauty have them open the snout just like this and we're gonna pitch that oh it's absolutely insane the gator is death rolling the python what is up everyone and welcome back to the channel i hope all of you are having just an absolutely amazing day i just want to go right now and wish all of you a happy new year i hope everyone had an incredible new year 2021 is here now 2020 was not the best year obviously due to coronavirus kind of took over the world but hopefully now that there's a vaccine out things will start to turn around and get better and things hopefully you know by mid-year end of the year will be completely open back up and ready to go but for today's video well today it's nice and cool out it's about 65 degrees out which for me it's a little bit cool but it feels absolutely amazing because i am in the sun and it was down to 55 last night so what does that mean that means that invasive pythons are out, they're sunning, they're getting nice and warm. So today, I'm actually in a little bit, I'm about to go meet Landon, and we're actually going to go searching for some invasive pythons. And if we are lucky enough to find an invasive python, we're actually gonna be taking the invasive python that we find, and we're gonna be feeding it to the alligator over at ZWF Miami. Now, the American alligator is a native species here in Florida that actually will eat invasive pythons if given the opportunity. So it's gonna be absolutely amazing to actually go remove an invasive species species from the Florida environment that's causing a lot of environmental problems down here and actually utilize this invasive species and not let it go to waste by feeding it to our American alligator. Well, it's two o'clock. I'm supposed to meet Landon at 2.30. So right now I'm gonna go hop in the truck and I'm gonna go meet Landon at one of our super secret Python spots and we're gonna go searching for pythons and if we find one, we're going to feed it to the alligator. Landon and I are here now. He met me here. What's up, bro? You, you ready to find a python? I think so. I think they're going to be out here. Yeah, I think they're going to be out here. Now, right now, it's about 65 degrees out, and last night it was down into the 50s, and it is a bright, sunny day, and we have just found a prime location for the pythons. The pythons at night are going to be burrowed up in the bushes, kind of tucked away, staying warm, and then in the sun during the day, what they're going to do is they're going to come out here, and they're going to want to bask on these hot lava rocks, and when you put your hand on them, I mean, these are just scorching hot. The pythons are going to come here, they're going to stretch out, and they're actually going to warm their bellies on the rocks. Once they're nice and warm, once they bask for a couple of hours, they're going to go back in the bushes where they can cool off. When they cool down again, they'll come back out, and that is how these snakes actually thermoregulate. They'll get nice and warm, cool off, and come back out. Out. and tonight it's gonna be down in the 40s and these snakes can almost sense the change in pressure so I am sure they're gonna be out basking I mean we literally found a prime location let me actually go up here in this tunnel area let's crawl up here okay we're up here and you can see we're like way up on this hill guys I might fall but this up here is where I could see the pythons potentially oh my gosh guys no I almost fell there we're gonna use this great oh I... <laughs> now this is like not expected at all we're gonna climb, we're going. I don't see any pythons here. We're just gonna slide down before I break a leg on here. We're just gonna come down and we're down. No pythons up there, so we're gonna keep walking down this area and hopefully we'll find a python. Right up in here, Landon and I actually, it looks like there's some sort of bum camp, a bum forest up here. So we're gonna, we're gonna walk up there. There's like remnants of like an old forest where there was some sort of a tent set up. So we're gonna go look up here. Maybe whoever's living up here has seen a python. Maybe he even has one. We will have to ask him. Hello? 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 They have like a marker here that this is like where oh they live. Oh my gosh, guys. Is there a bunch of stuff? There's beer cans. There's some sort of an old fort here. Oh my oh gosh. My gosh. Landon, come up here. This is What the heck? Bro. Guys, someone was living up in here. Look at this. There's old socks. Look at this, guys. Look at the knife. Oh, guys. you don't want to touch that. Oh my gosh, guys. There's a knife sitting here. There's some socks. Guys. Don't came, touch me with that. Okay. Stop it. <laughs> Guys, we came looking for pythons and we found like someone's old forest here. Now, oh my. Landon, should we look what's in the bin? Should we look oh, at what's in Oh, what if there's a python in the bin? Dude, what if there's a. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, there's a life vest. A life vest? You don't want to sink. There's another life vest here. Guys, go right now and comment down below what you think is possibly inside of this bucket. We're going to see right now. We're going to lift it up. Just water. 
Just there's, water? There's just water in there. Well, oh. doesn't look like there's any pythons here, so we're gonna head down and keep on searching. One minute, 37 seconds later. Look at this. We're walking, landing, come here, landing, landing, python, python. Guys, here, come here, get them. All right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. All right, I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. Guys, we have Woo. a little invasive python right here. Look at this little guy. The little guy. Woo, we got one, boys. Yeah. Exactly like I said, guys. Yo. Bro, right here. Hey. <laughs> Yo. Hey, right there. Exactly like I said, this python is sunning, and you can see just how well he actually blends in here. Oh, wow, this guy is toasty warm. Let's pull him on out. He's Okay, we got him. Okay. Just um, pull him out. Pull him yep. out this way. Woo, look at this, guys. Little beautiful python. Oh, of course. Ah! The typical python musk. Look at that. He's spraying musk everywhere. He's pooping. Let's let's put him back onto the rocks and take a look at him. Wow, he's wow. beautiful. Beautiful little python. Now, when you handle these snakes with respect, they really won't bite. Maybe he will. Take a look at this guy. Look how gorgeous he is. Look at this gorgeous little invasive python. What an absolute beauty. He's dripping musk all over me. Look at this guy right here. Well, mission accomplished. We got a python and he's kind of cool. He's actually not too warm and that's why he's pretty calm right now. Normally these pythons are going absolutely insane, but because it's been a cool morning, this guy is just kind of chilled out. You want to bite me? Come back here. And when you go to handle him, all you got to do is just grab him just like this. We're just going to bring him up and just like that and you can see now he's trying to bite me look at this little guy so unfortunately since he is an invasive species we are going to have to euthanize him and then we're going to hop right into why all of you are here today we're going to take this python and feed him to our alligator one hour later we're here at the zoo now we have our python we did have to humanely euthanize this python because it is an invasive species but we're not going to let it go to the waste we're going to feed it right here to this gator now this is kind of a big meal for this little alligator here but this alligator, I'm sure, without problem, will be able to take down that this python, and then she'll be good for about probably a month and a half, two months after eating this python right here. So how we're gonna do it is we're gonna stretch the python out, we're gonna pitch it to her, and we have to use this stick, obviously, right here as a precaution. So let's get to it, we're gonna come over here, you can see she's already hungry, she's already moving to me. Have them open the snout just like this, and we're gonna pitch that, oh my gosh. This is absolutely insane. The gator is death rolling the python. Look at this guys. This is what would happen in the wild So this gator right here did exactly what it would do in the wild It grabbed the python and it took it right down in the wild. They're gonna want to drown it Obviously this python is dead So it's, it's not gonna wrap around the gator the gator isn't gonna death roll it But he just took it down there and he's just gonna hold it for quite a while until he's ready to eat it Look at this this alligator has the python right now and we're just holding it if we were to pull and fight He would pull and fight with me, but if we just hold it neutrally he's just gonna kind of hold the python he's kind of in this hypnotic state right now he's kind of just chilled out he kind of opened his eyes now we're backed up to a fence so we want to act in the smartest way as possible just in case he were to leap forward but because he has this meal in his mouth i really don't think he is but just look at this gorgeous american alligator a native species of florida versus an invasive species this is an incredible way for us to utilize these invasive species to where they're not going to waste there's a lot of controversy involving invasive species, but this is one way that we can all agree on by feeding an invasive to a native species. Here you go, Mr. Alligator. You swim along, take your meal. There you go. Look at him. He is taken off right there. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you did enjoy watching today's video. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video of us catching an invasive python, feeding it to an American alligator, we'll go right now, give this video a thumbs up, and comment down below what you thought of this crazy video. And guys, if you are not subscribed already, you want to see more alligators, you want to see pythons, tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises. Well, what are you waiting for, guys? Go right now and hit that subscribe button and tap that little notification bell, and you all will be notified whenever I post.